up, everybody? I'm Carlos, your host of Detroit Digest. Thank you for checking out another episode. Today, we are in a spot that we never really go to, downtown Detroit, the heart of the city. It's as city as it gets right here. Seeing the city of what it was, and then seeing what it is now. It's different, it's really different. There's a lot of new businesses, and one of these new businesses here today is Moose. The spot opened up, and they've been cool for slices. I ride a bike in the city, I get hungry, I stop, I look for something quick, a quick snack. Quick snacks here at Moose. They have two different entrances. I don't feel like I need to go into the entrance where everybody's eating at. I can go over here, pick up the old side hustle, grab me a couple of slices, eat them right here on the street, dripping grease all over the place, and that's the way I like to eat. But today's a little bit different. So this place opened up to 25% capacity. I'm gonna put a mask on, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna order some things that I've never tried before. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Uh, first of all, the chair is comfortable. How does this work? Can I take this off now? Yes. This feels weird. I'm inside of a place and my mask is off. I don't know what to do. First thing that I want to take a look at are these meatballs. These meatballs look outstanding. They're called Nona's meatballs. Gotta be based off of grandmother's recipe. I love meatballs. I, I love a good sauce, a good tomato sauce. It's got Parmesan. Uh, you've got the ricotta cheese in here too. Uh, I'm excited. I love a good meatball. And then we've got here the garlic knots as well. Good garlic bread. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Good flavor. Definitely want more sauce on that. Get a little bit of ricotta. Mm hmm Not heavily on garlic or it's not heavy on any kind of like breadcrumb or not super eggy. Good meatball. Definitely good with the sauce. Definitely it, it craves the sauce. Which the sauce is really good. Mm hmm. I dig it. I'm gonna try one of these garlic knots. I'm gonna do it by itself first. And then I wanna dip it in the sauce here. Mm hmm. Are they good? No. Bread's you're, wonderful. You're under the next one. Nice and soft on the inside. Then with known as meatballs. Mmm. Well, that's good. Bread and sauce. The interior fluff. Super airy pockets. Still nice and garlicky. Exterior crunch. We're gonna do this pasta. I'm gonna make sure that I get a little bit of the mushroom, the pancetta. Gotta gotta love that good old pork. Mmm. Okay. Right off the bat, the truffle hits you. As truffle would. Mmm. The spinach smooths it out. That's nice. I love Parmesan. I love the pancetta. Mm hmm The pancetta offers that extra hit of saltiness. Along with the Parmesan. I'm giving it a little bit of that nuttiness too. Same thing with the nuttiness of the mushrooms, playing in with the truffle and then smoothed out by the by the spinach. That's really good. Can we order some slices? Yeah, yeah. Let's order some slices. Grandma, tomato chunks, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, basil, fresh mozzarella. Ooh, nice. So have your have your margarita. Cool, cool. Yeah, I love that. That's cool, grinder, and it's an Italian sub on a pizza. You can't go wrong with that. Today's special, which is a Hawaiian fire. Very cool. The unfortunate part is I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce on a pizza. I don't know why, it's just something that I never really liked. So I'm gonna stay away from that one. Not saying you should, probably a good idea if you like barbecue sauce on a pizza. It looks really good. For me, can I get a slice of the grandma? I'm gonna do the grinder slice. Do we wanna do a normal one or do we wanna do something else special? A normal one? Cool. Give me either a pepperoni or a cheese. All right, we're going to go around over to that side then. All right, I have here two slices so far. Um, this is the grinder one, so basically an Italian sandwich on a pizza. And then here the, the grandma. So since we tried 
Some meatballs by grandma. Let's try some pizza by grandma. Go ahead in the comments. Do you fold or do you do flat out? I'm a folder. I fold. So I'm going to fold this boy. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Heavy cheese, heavy garlic. This is like a margarita on steroids. Super greasy. The dough's good. It's a big beefy slice too. You're not getting like a, a sliver, right? Mm. I dig it. I definitely dig it. Like I said, good spot for a slice. We don't have too many great slices in the city. Not too many great spots to just stop, grab a slice, be on your way. This spot has become one of those spots and it's in the heart of downtown Detroit. All right, we got here. That's, that's a sandwich on a pizza. Can you see the grease? Oh yeah, there it goes. The grease is a dripping. Oh, oh. All right, I'm going for it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, dude. This tastes like the Italian sandwich that you would get at a pizza spot. OG grinder, you got pepperoni, ham, yellow peppers, red onion, Italian dressing. You gotta love it, right? You gotta love it. The dough, while this has a ton of toppings on it, the dough holds up very well. Got a good crust. Some areas very well baked. Yep, cornmeal below. Yeah, the dough's great. I dig it. All right, one more slice. Plain pepperoni. This is the, uh, it's the this is the standard. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I love pepperoni pizza, especially the pepperonis. There are these little grease, grease bombs, these little grease catchers. Oh yeah, spicy, small, folds up. Good pizza, good pizza. We need a good slice spot. Go pick up and grab yourself a slice of pizza. This I knew about Moats. What I didn't know is that they had good other food. All right, uh, we got a roll, a strong bowl over here. Okay. We got here a roll, stromboli. Um, these are specials. They don't always have these, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, I definitely needed to get one. This one is their Bronx, so it's gonna have a ton of meat in it. And uh, good cheese. A lot of good Italian seasoning all over too. Mm. No sauce required on these boys. Literally just meats, cheeses, a lot of good seasoning. The dough is fantastic, really nice fluff. One of these will fill you up. Life is tough, but so are you. Go outside, go to a place, and go eat. This place rocks. <laughs> I enjoyed this place. I enjoyed Moots, I enjoyed coming in here. I felt very welcome. The staff here is excited to, to show anybody what they can do here. Um, if you can go into a restaurant right now and it feels safe, go check it out, support the hospitality, tip high for sure. At Moose's, I had a great time. I got very full, I ate a lot of food. Please, make sure you check out the rest of our videos. Here at Detroit Digest, we love to make sure that everybody knows about these little places that we know and love, or we can go discover new spots for you. Check it out, check out more videos that we do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm Carlos, your host of the Detroit Digest. This is my city. This is your city. Make sure you come and you support no matter where you're at. We love you. We hope you got hungry and we'll see you guys on the next one.